we're here today with photojournalist Eric Castro, who's been out covering the glass fire. Thank you so much for joining us, Eric. Thanks for having me. So you've been out overnight covering the glass fire. Tell me, what has your experience been like out in the field? I'm used to fire coverage being more noisy, trucks everywhere, you know, booms from fire tanks and stuff like that. And I arrive at the scene and there's literally hundreds of elderly people sitting in folding chairs uh, with sort of a soft falling of ash kind of landing on their hair. Um, and it was completely silent. And it, and it, and it really did, it, it felt like a dystopian movie scene. And certainly with COVID-19 protocols in place, there was a limited capacity in, a, in our shelters, especially with at one point over 68,000 people uh, evacuated. How long did you notice evacuees were waiting outside the vets hall? And what was the, the feeling when you got there? It was definitely a feeling that this place was overwhelmed, that although we've experienced years and years of, of uh, fires, major fires, that I was, ex I was witnessing you know, the vulnerabilities that we still have here in handling evacuees. Um, there were hundreds, like I said, kind of unfolding chairs and groups of maybe 30 to 40. And then there were rows or lines of city buses you know, filled to capacity with elderly residents, mostly all masked, uh, waiting in idling buses that actually eventually got uh, moved to Petaluma. They, they were just at capacity by the time I arrived at about 2 a.m. Um, I stayed there for a good couple of hours. Anybody who come across this scene, um, it'd be difficult not, not to not want the public to witness this, to really see uh, the vulnerabilities of, 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 wh of where we still are. In, in managing uh, evacuation situations.